Good afternoon. My name is Ansi Tauriainen. I'm a director of Analytics and Advanced Services Business Unit at Expo. And this afternoon, I wanted to give you a quick overview on our 3D analytics concept. So basically, the idea there is that we are collecting um, lots of uh, granular information from the network and using our analytics capabilities to come up with an insights uh, speci specifically related to three areas, subscribers, services, and network experience. Okay. So let me start by quickly explaining our positioning in the market. So here you can see an illustration of a network infrastructure. Right? We have, uh, on the top layer, we have uh, the user plane data and user level data. We have um, signaling information. We have uh, here IP infrastructure. And finally, the physical uh, network layer, which is the layer number one. So how we position ourselves in this uh, whole analytics market is that, first of all, we are building a comprehensive, a complete end-to-end -end view between two devices. In this, in this example, it's uh, two mobile devices, but it could, be, uh, it could be fixed devices as well. It could be computers, so it could be routers. And we really aim to build and cover the whole path and all the networks in and between these two devices. Another angle that we cover is uh, basically combination of all of the network layers. So basically we have a mechanism to either collect the data directly from our own data sources or by using third party data sources across the full network stack. So uh, starting from the top layer, uh, going through the signaling, IP infrastructure and physical layer. So, and then we use our analytics uh, capabilities to come, come up with the analysis related to three angles, subscribers, services and network. And because of these three positions, we call the whole analytics com concept 3D analytics. This is the high level structure of our 3D analytics. So it consists of multiple different components. It's a modular structure. At the bottom, we have the core platform, which is designed to collect uh, a lot of data, massive amounts of data in real time. So it contains interfaces either directly to network elements or then uh, our probes or third party probes. It also contains alarming and baselining functionality and APIs to the northbound inter APIs to third-party uh, systems. Then we have, on the second layer, we have our individual analytics applications. So basically, these are the applications where we have built in the knowledge how to interpret the data uh, coming from different data sources. So starting from the left, we have network performance analytics, which is uh, uh, really um, for managing the data uh, from IP uh, layer three. We have Ethernet and transport analytics, which is mainly designed on top of our active probes. We have mobility analytics, which is basically uh, on top of uh, passive probing. We have fiber analytics, uh, mainly collecting the data from Expos and QMS Fiber, um, a fiber network monitoring solution. Um, we have video analytics, then we have uh, application for NFV closed loop analytics, and finally, field test analytics for uh, portable Expo devices. And these individual analytics applications we are combining on a top layer uh, called 3D analytics. So there the idea is that we are taking data from multiple different analytics applications and then combining it together. So in this demo setup, I have uh, in my system, I have three analytics applications. So I'm using network performance analytics, I'm using Ethernet and transport analytics, and I'm using fiber analytics. And then finally, uh, using the 3D analytics layer to, to display and visualize the data. So the de we have a simplified demo setup here. We have uh, an imaginary CSP, uh, which is operating on the east coast of US, uh, providing most of the LTE service to three major cities. Uh, we have Boston, New York, and Washington. They are connected uh, via fiber network. Um, we have three verifiers, basically uh, running uh, active tests across the network to ensure the service quality uh, for voice over LTE. We are collecting data directly from the uh, layer three switches via SNMP. So this is interface level performance data. And finally, we have NQMS Fiber, which is our fiber network monitoring solution to basically test the uh, layer one connectivity. So running OTDR tests uh, over the fiber network. And then like mentioned earlier, we use the 3D analytic solution to collect all of this data in real time and then visualizing and making conclusions out of it. So here is the user interface of Extract, which is the name of our 3D analytics solution. So Extract is the name of the analytics platform. Um, 
We start, let me start by explaining service modeling, which is a key concept for uh, built in into extract for collecting, uh, aggregating and propagating the da collective data. So basically, uh, how it starts is that we have created a simplified model of the, of the service provided by, by using a hierarchy of elements. So here we have first, we have North America, then we have the individual cities, uh, such as New York and Boston. Then we have an aggregation point, where we are, which we are using to aggregate the data uh, for certain type of connections. So for example, here's the connection between Boston and New York. And then we have the individual data points. So for example, we are collecting data directly from uh, uh, from uh, IP layer 3 router via SNMP. We are collecting data from uh, Fiber Guardian, which is part of the NQMS Fiber network monitoring system. And then we are collecting data from active tests. So this is uh, the verifier which is located in Boston, running the active uh, MOS score tests over the voice over, L over, the voice over LTE um, service. And then we are using the service modeling to aggregate the data on a higher level so that we can see on the highest level how the service is performing, but we, can, we have the, also the ability to drill down into individual KPIs and alarms to see basically what are the root causes. So this is the core concept behind how we are uh, collecting and propagating the data. Now, this data is further visualized in the user interface and you have different mechanisms for visualizing it. So for example, you have a map interface where you can see the KPIs populated over the map and you can see more details by, by clicking or drilling down. Um, we have also examples of the visualization graphs. So on the left hand side we have for example loss per kilometer uh, KPI which is, um, which is an uh, optical KPI for fiber networks. In the middle we have uh, packet loss which is a KPI connected, collected from the uh, from the IP uh, routers. And on the right hand side, we have a trend of MOS score collected from the active testing. And uh, basically, you have, uh, via the user interface, you have an ability, of course, to manually analyze the data and take a look into it how, uh, by yourself and see the correlations. But we also support automated actions. So, for example, here you can see uh, the histograph of the service performance. Uh, so, we're basically looking at the we're trending it and we are looking at the maximum values and the minimum values but we are also creating a baseline at the same time. So basically you can use the baseline uh, as, a, as a basis for further actions. So let's say that uh, performance of the, of the uh, voice over LTE network, so most scores are either increasing or they are decreasing, let's say they are more than 25, there's more than 25% deviation of the baseline value which is typical for this particular moment and day we can automatically create alarms out of it, which will help, of course, the network operations people, service operations people, to keep a closer eye to their um, performance of the network. So the system can be also used for troubleshooting. So here's an example of, of uh, how a troubleshooting scenario would go in a, in a, in a uh, problematic situation. So let's say that I'm working as a, as a a service operations engineer and I open this view to see on a higher level that what is the performance of my of my service network and subscriber experience. So on the right hand side I can see uh, the MOS scores which indicates that what is the quality of the voice service provided to end customers. Uh, I can see that it's on a green uh, for example to a location like Dallas. It's on yellow for, for New York and Washington. And then I can see that actually for Boston, it's the worst one. It's, uh, it says 2.8 here, which is the lo lowest score in the whole network. Now, this indicates me that there's something wrong in here. Because that, that indicates that end users are actually having problems with the, with the quality of the voice service. Now, I can drill down further here. I can open, open the analysis, uh, open up the tree for, for Boston. And here we can see the different connections. So, now again, on a high level, I can see that the connection to Dallas seems to be fine, but we are having problems with the connections to uh, New York City and Washington. Now drilling down further, I can open the branch and I can see now the individual tests uh, that are, have been failing, or the individual KPIs that are below the thresholds. So here I can see, for example, that the optical route between Boston and New York is actually performing really badly, the value is in red here, I can see that the loss per kilometer is very high, which means that there's a degradation of quality on the fiber optical connection between, between New York and Boston. Now, 
Basically, this is a very trivialized, simple example, but here we can already see that how, to, how powerful the mapping from user layer into physical layer can be in a single solution. So we can see that there's an impact to end user experience, and now with here we can see that, okay, the problem seems to be in the optical connection, and we can drill down further in the optical management system to resolve the problem and fix it. Now, the added value of this scenario is that typically, if I was a network uh, or service operations engineer, I would have to use several different systems to find, out, find this data out. Because typically, fiber network is managed in a system of its own, IP network is a different system, and finally, the service management systems are totally separated. And there is no single consolidated view for this data. And now with this one, I can combine all of it together, and I can shorten my mean time to resolution. Oh, well, first of all, the mean time to discovery, and then the mean time to resolution from several days to actually a few minutes, so have it even completely automated. So let me summarize with a few words the 3D analytics concept that I just demonstrated to you. So as a starting point, our unique position in this market is that we are building the most comprehensive end-to-end uh, -end view between two devices. They can be either uh, mobile or they can be wireline devices. Uh, de there, is no, there is no difference in the technology. Now, we are building uh, a visibility across the different layers of the network. So across the user plane, console plane, IP layer, and physical layer by using either X4 data sources or using third-party data sources. Uh, we are one of the few providers in the world who can actually do this, and, and we are demonstrating it uh, in, in, in this concept. Now, the third important angle in the whole 3D, 3D analytics is then the um, visibility into three key aspects. So we are constantly keeping an eye on services, on subscribers, and the network. And you can always find the performance and service experience on these three specific angles across the whole layer and end to end. So the added value of doing this is basically that it shortens time to discovery. You can discover issues much faster than you would be able to do with the traditional methods. You can fix them much faster. And this, by doing this, it increases uh, basically your customer satisfaction. It basically reduces the OPEX for troubleshooting and corrective actions.